Hi folks, welcome back. And no, 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 don't, don't run away and panic. I'm not going to make you sit through more videos of me pickling things. Just kind of looking at what I've got here. I'm pleased that now that I've got enough to get through winter, I can finally work on doing something else. Oh, let's light a torch. Okay, so the next stage in our uh, tech chain or tech tree is to get to pig iron. Uh, we can currently make wrought iron. The next step up is pig iron. And for that, we need to find a couple of substances. I don't, can't really call them ores. Um, kaolinite and graphite. Graphite. <laughs> kaolinite and graphite uh, that we haven't found yet. So we're going to have to do, do a bit of exploring for that stuff. That means going into areas of the world that we haven't been before. So I'm going to want an arrow. Bow and arrow. So they're made the same as in regular minecraft and regular tfc make the both that except i guess the one difference is i was using yarn from the sheep instead of string so so that works as well and the arrows <clears throat> so it's a bunch of arrows since uh there are things out there like bears and i think lions can kill me pretty quickly too I'm pretty good now with the sword that I can take on uh, take on most of the big cats or a lot of the big cats like the saber twos and the panthers but a lion can still kill me and bears can definitely still kill me and there's probably a few other things so best to take them out from a distance since we're going to be traveling we're going to want a bed we're going to want uh, our workbench with us and I've got a bunch of food that's about to go bad where is it here oh there it is and we're going to want our boat, which is outside. Now, if we have a look at the map. Here we go. Let's zoom out a bit at this. I don't understand why. Just a bug, I guess, in the mod. Why it ends up with these holes in places I've clearly been before. But if you look carefully at the area I'm in, you look at the color of the sand here. I think I've gone over this before. And <clears throat> the color reflects to some degree, you know, what kind of sand it is. And the sand reflects what kind, what the major stone is that's on top. I think it's andesite here. It doesn't really matter that much. But if you look back, look out, you've got this stuff over here. Now, we've been over here before, and this is limestone. And one of the places that kaolinite can be found is in limestone. So I'm going to head over there and, and run around with the uh, prospector spec and see if we can find a surface deposit of limestone, or tough limestone. Well, we'll definitely find a surface deposit of limestone. But see if we can find a surface deposit of kaolinite over there. Um, now, what I typically do when I'm going out on these exploratory ore missions, exploratory resource missions I guess I might as well call them ores they're mineable <clears throat> which is different from you know other resources like you know trees and animals and stuff like that uh, but what I typically do is I'll go to a, I'll go along in a boat oh there we're there already great okay I'll get out in a boat and I'll go along for a while until I see the type of rock change and then I'll get out and dig an exploratory mine. And then uh, map out and record the different layers of rock that I find below ground. And then later on, you know, I can go and find those layers of rock. Um, oh yeah, sword's good for this. <clears throat> but it seems that uh, at least in my regular travels I've been really bad in this uh, there we go there's the rock map in recording the rock types as I go along as you can see I've only done it once <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm just remembering uh, that this is uh, limestone over here um, so that's pretty time-consuming found nothing Oh, hematite, but I've got lots of hematite already. Uh, so that's pretty... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Said the bad word. That was fast. 
Kalanite. All right. Well, thanks for joining the show, folks. Glad you could come. Anyway, um, so I've been, uh, it takes a long t- now i got to catch up with what I was going to say. Uh, it takes a long time to do those exploratory mines and dig down and all sorts of stuff. So what I'm first going to do is just see if I can get lucky, which clearly I did, um, uh, finding surface deposits. And if that doesn't work, then I can do some, uh, some of the digging off, off screen. But here we go. Well, all right. We have found kaolinite. Well, there's something over here. What is it? And there's something behind me, too. Hey, guess what I brought for you? Yeah, you can get mad about it. Or you can just die. Yeah, yeah. I've got tech, buddy. Do you have tech? No. You've got teeth. Tech beats teeth. Uh, speaking of hematite, oh, I might as well mark it since it's here. I mean, I've been so bad about marking stuff. I just talked about being bad about marking stuff, so let's do it. All right. Let's get back down here. Uh, this does not look like calonite. Calonite is kind of pinkish. So let's find out what this is. That looks like gypsum. I don't think gypsum is horribly useful to us. I think the only thing that we can use it for is to make flux. Mm, do I have a hammer here? Oh yeah, no, I have to grind it up in the corn. <coughs> But I think that's the only value for the gypsum. But still, you know, might as well record it. Okay. So back in the water we go. So next on our list, the one other thing we have to find is graphite. And there are only like four rock types that the graphite is found in. And can I name them off the top of my head? Well, we all know the answer to that. No, of course I can't. Get this boat in the water. Okay, so if we come back in here and we come along this coast here, we'll notice We'll notice down here once again there's a change in the color of the, the color of the sand on the coastline. So go down there and see what kind of rock it is. I don't re recall running into quartzite. Um, give me a moment and I'll uh, go double check what the uh, other rock types are. Okay, they're the metamorphic rocks, not all of them, four of them. Uh, nice marble, quartzite, and schist. So we want to go along and find some of those if we can. And where am I heading here? Come around this bend and head southwest. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I had been doing... I really did thought... think. Well, I knew with the rocks I hadn't been doing a very good job of recording the different rock types. But as we found in a couple of the previous episodes, I thought I'd been doing pretty good like on fruit trees and things like that, but nope. I want to go southwest. Am I there yet? I don't think so. I'm, um, oh, I want to go southeast, not southwest. Well, that would account for it. And on the rock types, I've been com completely falling down on the job. But that's the other thing that's been happening too is I've been pretty lucky in finding a lot of surface deposits with this seed. Uh, normally, usually I can find a surface deposit of copper, sometimes bismuth, but normally I have to actually dig down for more things. And so since I have to dig mines in the ground anyway, those kind of also act as my exploratory holes to tell me what the different rocks are in the area. <clears throat> But the only 
actually underground mine I've had to dig so far has been for that uh, for my first copper deposit. First or second? First, I think. Yeah, you can see the rock color changing up here. Or, well, the rock, the sand, the gravel, all of it changes color. So let's go see what we've got. Uh, not sure what this is. Does not look like any of the ones we want, though. Yeah, of course you sink down. Oh, and actually, okay, we can, we can, uh, what can we do here? We can add to the suspense by going to bed first. We. Okay. Okay. So let's just grab one of these and find out what that is. So this is diorite, not one of the ones we're after. I need some water. Is there any drinkable water here? No, I'll use my uh, use one of my jugs. And then let's get up. Um, I don't think. Let's have a look at our map. I don't see any other any other color changes so what i'm gonna do well since i'm here i'm, I'm gonna yeah I'm, I'm just gonna come down here and push south until i get to a new rock type and if that doesn't work then we'll hop back in the boat and maybe try going along the coastline looking for better rock types uh just because too much time in the boat gets a little dull i think i can get up here yep and I want to go a bit westward. Let's get rid of all these ores. So I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, go inland. It's about to say go west, young man, but I've already done that one, haven't I? There we go. Go inland a bit, and then we'll go south. What's that? Is that a hyena? I think that's a hyena. One hyena, yeah it is. One hyena is not a problem. But there's never just one hyena. Whoops. Alright, let's go finish him off. Okay. Well, I have to keep our eyes out and see if there's any more. Ooh, wheat. Oh, it's tempting, but let's not get distracted here. Oh, yeah, you can see a bunch of hyenas out there. Yeah, see, so he got away from his pack. You lost the security of your pack. I think we've seen these hyenas before <clears throat> when I was out collecting cows and sheep. Speaking of which, hi cow. Oh, and there's one of our fruit trees. Well, we'll just silently bypass the rest of the pack. If you're wondering why Frank's missing, it's got nothing to do with me. I don't know. I never heard of a hyena named Frank. Actually, I guess it should be Harry. Harry the hyena. And they are hairy, so it all works. So I got quite a ways to go down here before I'm into any new terrain. Ah, oh, those are just wolves. That's good. Now let's look at this map again. What am I going around here? No, I don't want to go too far inland. Let's stay near the coast. So let's try and cross. Let's, uh, let's stay near the coast. And that way this doesn't pan out. We won't have to go so far to throw a boat in the water. Look at all the meat I've got. Oh, raw hyena meat. It actually is uh, its own separate meat category. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't make sense to call it grand feline, but I thought maybe they'd have another category. So I wonder what happens if I kill a wolf. 
will actually. So you know, is this? Did the people who made T and G were they are they pro dog and people? So all the dog types get their own uh, specially named meat, but the cat types don't. Yeah. Investigative reporting here. Got to know. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a green apple tree. Very nice. Okay, well, like I said, I gotta go quite a ways <clears throat> before I get into any new territory. And uh, and since I will likely get distracted by many things, <laughs> not of such great interest, I'll wait until I'm a little closer. So I'll bring you back in then. See ya. Well, I didn't get too far before running into this guy. And he is a perfect example of why I made the bow and arrow. Him I cannot take on. Well, I probably would die if I just tried to kill him with a sword. So, and unlike some of the others who only hunt at night, he is definitely aggressive during the day. One more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I need, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to outrun him either because I just noticed that I'm low on water. So let's go crack that while we're at it. Yeah, see? See? The cats are all just grand feline meat. Okay. All right. I, I, I can show you on the map here. I'm like barely moved from where I was before. So I'm going to continue skirt these mountains here and just continue on down here until I see a new rock type. And then I'll bring you back in. See you then. Well, I finally did get into a new rock type. So this is the rock I've been going with here, the diorite. And we come across this and what would you know? It's actually quartzite. It's actually one of the ones we want. I am going to have to like make up a plaque and bronze plate it with this uh with this seed on it this has just been so lucky it's really <laughs> really convenient for a uh for making videos as well um i guess i should show you I've, I've shown this in previous series but not so far in this one a little trick i do to make it easier when I'm running along to see when I've gotten to a new rock type. I mean, sometimes it's very obvious from the color of the rocks, but other times, especially with the lightning glitches, sometimes isn't. So this is the type before I had, is I keep, this is easier to show, I keep at least one slot in my hot bar open and free, and I keep a stack of the rock that I'm currently in, rock type currently in, not in my hot bar. So, you know, as I run along like this, I can just very quickly pick one up and it doesn't appear in my hot bar because it just goes into the stack that's inside my inventory. And then as I run along, oh, suddenly the rock appears, you know, in my hot bar. And so I know it's a, it's a different rock type. I can, so I can just suddenly see it like that. Okay. So since we're into the quartzite now, I mean, so I, say, I, I should record this. This is where I always make my mistake. So I don't record things. I'm actually much better about recording them when I'm just not doing a video because I play more slowly. Yes. Yes, folks, I am capable of playing even more slowly than this. Okay, so let's get out our cross pro pick and just start. Oh, well, this is tetrahedrite. I'm surprised it hasn't told us where about the tetrahedrite. It must be, I guess, the tetrahedrite is buried pretty far down. So now we're just going to run through quartzite land. Every now and then, ticking away with our prospector's pick to see if we can find a deposit. Oh, I need to drink. Of, uh, what is it we're looking for again? Graphite. Oh, I'm, sh I'm, I'm drinking salt water. 
bonehead. All right. Uh, let's go west around this bay. Well, I guess I might as well prospect while I go along. Ooh, ooh, I better drink some real water. There we go. Yeah, with quartzite, you can sort of tell by the color. It's got this little bit of pink in it. I mean, not that there aren't other rocks that don't look like that, actually, not to think about it. Uh, for instance, phyllite has a little bit of pink in it, too. Sphalerite. Okay, so there's an example. We've come across something now. Ooh, a very large sample of quartzite sphalerite. Well, I don't need much sphalerite. I've already got all the sphalerite. I write all the sphalerite I need. And in fact, you can see it's right here. So since it's exposed, I'll, uh, I'll record it. Eh, where are we on the map here? Let's get around this bay all the way. I guess one other thing I gotta be careful about. Yeah, more court, more solid. Is if I'm wandering around, looking at the ground with my pro pick in my hand, then I'm not watching out for predators, and I don't have my sword in my hand. So, gotta be careful something doesn't knock me off while I'm doing this. Uh, speaking of which, fortunately it's the daytime and he's not interested in me. Okay, good. There's far too many of these uh, grand quartzite graphite. Well, there we go. Medium sample. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> take take lucky over uh, was a. Lucky over handy any day. Where is it? Here it is. All right. And it's a very large. Oh, so it's close to the surface and it's a very large sample. So we found them both. Ah. Um, um, I'm too excited here. All right. Let's slow down. Huh. Okay. So we have found the two things. So the next thing I need to do then is to uh, create some mines. They like to dig down and find, actually find the stuff. If I'm getting a very large deposit from from up here on the surface, then this is probably going to end up being a strip mine. It's like a big open pit. So we'll uh, we'll speed this up appropriately, since I think you all know how digging of dirt works in all variants of Minecraft, or at least all the ones that I've come across. Ah, there we go. There we go. That's the stuff right there here. We'll even throw a pickaxe down on a pro pick down on it. Quartzite graphite. Yes. Doesn't matter that it's quartzite, it's graphite. That's the important thing. Okay, you see this massive little canyon I've dug for myself here? So I got a little carried away at the start. Um, I just started digging, digging where I got my first hit with a prospector's pick. And after I'd calmed down a little bit, I went and kind of came back up to the top and used the pro pick to map out the, you know, the rough dimensions of it. And as it turned out on the, uh, north south axis, I was pretty much dead on. As you can see, I found some graphite right there, but I was a little bit too far to the west. So I pulled my dig back my trench back further here to the east. <clears throat> so yeah, you can see that it's right here. It's right at the surface, like this is gravel, 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 and then immediately there's the uh, graphite here. So, oh, and there's lots of it to the sides too. So trying to dig down with a mine, you know, dig a mine shaft down and then kind of mine it out in the traditional way uh, 
wouldn't work out too well because as I'm mining up, I keep risk digging into this gravel layer and then having it fall down and destroy everything. So, if I want to be able to get this one particular block of graphite here, I would have to dig out this entire column of dirt and uh, gravel above it. Same on this side. So what I'm going to do is dig down a bit. See if I can get under it. Oh, there's more there. Lots more here, in fact. Oh yeah. Well, it is a very large deposit. So this should be enough. I think I'm going to need something like in total 200 graphite. Oh, uh, no, it's not that bad. I think it's under 100, actually. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to mine this stuff out. And nothing too exciting is going to happen here. Though I guess the one other thing I just show you. There it is up there. Is, of course, it took me a couple of days. Well, it took me a, a, a day more than what you saw to mine things out. And I kept running out of water because this is salt water here. But it turns out there's this one tiny little patch of fresh water here that I can actually drink. Hallelujah. Let's, uh, let's show it by throwing that away. So I was able to refill my jugs and drink me just because of that little patch there. But okay, I'm going to mine out a bunch of graphite here. And then head back over to the, the Calvinite deposit and do the same sort of thing there. And, uh, and then after that's done, then we can go back to the, we can go back home and use this stuff to start building the blast furnace. I'll bring you back then. Well, I've got about 200 roughly of these uh, graphite between here and in my vessels um, as you can see it ended up being more of a hybrid mine so a little bit of a strip mine in a more literal sense that it's just one strip here that i did from the surface and then more my kind of normal deep pit mining technique on the as i move in from the sides uh, where it gets particularly difficult is to the south here um, because the land here slopes very quickly down to the ocean. So I can show the problem with that. Oh, you, well, you can see what, where it happened to me here is so in behind this wooden block here, I found another piece of graphite and I mined it out and it turned out there was gravel immediately above it and it dropped down. So that's the problem I have digging too deeply into this side here is that Gravel can be lurking just... Okay, you can see there's gravel there, but fortunately I didn't run into any there. It can be lurking just above the piece that I'm trying to mine out. It's It's a lot been a lot better on this side because the hill on this side holds up for quite a bit longer. You can see it from the top. Yeah, you can see the, you know, the ocean's right here, and so it the ground steps down very quickly. But over here, it actually rises up a bit. Not everywhere, but I mean, it doesn't doesn't drop off. So I'm a lot safer digging in from that side. But anyway, I've got more than I I believe more than what I'll ever need in graphite, and if not, it's easy enough to come back and get more here. So I'm gonna uh, go home and drop this stuff off and restock my food supplies and then head over to Kaolinite Mine and do the same thing there. See in a bit. So I have myself a wee bit of a problem. The prospector's pick is telling me that the signal on this uh, limestone Kaolinite strengthens to the west and to the north, which means it's out in the middle of this lagoon somewhere. Um, to make things a little, even a little more complicated, it's, uh, limestone kaolinite. There we go. There's also a very large deposit of malachite out here somewhere. In fact, if I swim down to the bottom, I can actually see a bit of exposed malachite. I had a look around. I didn't. It was. I didn't do a complete survey because I was drowning. But uh, I had a quick look around. Couldn't see any exposed kaolinite. 
So I th it's pretty deep to try and do a caisson approach. So I think instead what I'm going to have to do is dig a shaft down. I measured it down and the floor here is at about 132. And when you account for the thickness of the gravel and the sand, well, it won't be any sand above it, but the gravel above it, maybe another six. So I'm going to have to go down to 126 maybe, and then dig my way over there and start looking for it. So I got a lot of digging in my future. I'll, uh, I'll bring you in when, <laughs> when I'm at least closer to my target. Well, that was a lot less digging than I had anticipated. You can see I just started the hole. Just just got below the gravel level. <clears throat> I haven't begun advancing into the lagoon at all, and here's our first kaolinite. Pink unicorn. Okay, whatever that means. Um, and if we check the... Nothing of interest it says here. Let's find a reading on it. A very oh no it did get up to very large i was thinking that if i ran into it this quickly because on the surface i was only reading a small sample and that's why i figured if it was going to be a very large it would have to be out it'd have to be further away out in the lagoon but apparently i can have a very large sample right here well i'm not going to argue so the the luck of this seed just continues to pay off this is like this is just fabulous So what have I got here? Yeah, so you can see this is the stuff here, calonite. And and like the graphite, I don't think it comes in uh, very, like I don't think you get rich and poor. You certainly didn't in, you certainly don't in, uh, in traditional TFC and classic TFC. Um, so it's possible they've changed that in, uh, Uh, where's my wood? Ooh, I don't have enough wood. I gotta go get more wood. It's possible they've changed that in TNG, but uh, I didn't didn't see it in any of the change notes. So anyway, so after I've grabbed a bunch of this, I need to grab basically the same amount as I did with the graphite. So I'm, if I can, I'm gonna get about 200 of it. So I'll be here for a couple of days, a couple of in-game days. So see you in a bit. Bye. Well, what I thought was gonna be the uh, toughest mine, I thought it was gonna have to be continually on the look out for water breaking in turned out to be no problem at all it was all down straight down here you can see there's my original shaft where i came down from the sand and uh i managed to collect 200 all within a fairly small radius and uh never i don't think i ever even got close to breaking you know breaking out into the uh water above i mean parts of this are almost certainly underwater but but uh still well within the uh well within the rock so it was cool all right so homeward bound now and uh and then we'll see about making ourselves some fire brick which is what this has all been in aid of i'll meet you back there well there's the fruits of our labors lots and lots of graphite and only slightly less of this kaolinite and we're going to have to call an episode there because we're already out of time. So next episode, that'll probably fit together better in a separate episode anyway. Uh, we'll make up the fire brick and start putting together the bits and pieces that we need to make ourselves a blast furnace for making ourselves pig iron. We don't have pigs yet, but we're going to have pig iron soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. See you back. Bye.